All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you the reasons why we cobweb and how to do it the right way so that way you're not wearing yourself out, especially in the hot sun of the day. So up here, we've got cobweb stuff around the light and all the way down here and on the window sills. So if you're trying to reach around with your arm while you're up there on the ladder, where it's, you know, you're not always going to be completely stable, you've got a cobweb brush on the top of an extension cord. Open that thing up. And then you want to go with the flow of the board, and that way it'll pull all the cobwebs off from there. As you're coming down and back around. And notice the position of my arms. I've got one low and one high, so that way if your arm gets tired, you just switch it out. This one will get a rest. This one's going to be above your heart, and that's just going to wear it out. It's not getting enough blood flow to it, is all. And the reason why we do this is because once the window's clean and they want to go and look out their windows, what's the first thing they're going to see? A bunch of cobwebs? I think not. Nope, we're going to clean them off so that way they don't have to look at them, you don't have to look at them. And also when it rains and the wind gets to blowing, it just keeps everything cleaner. And we get to knock spiders down. Nobody likes spiders anyways. Now we're going through and we're hitting all the seals by the windows. Make sure to pull all the cobwebs off of those. Just makes everything look a lot better. And anytime you get a whole bunch of this going on here, and I'll bring it down close to the camera to see. Got a whole bunch of cobwebs stuck in there. That's a spider. Gross. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring it down to a level where it's not close to any windows. It's not gonna mess up any of our windows. We're gonna knock that off of there real quick. So that way it doesn't get caught stuck to something. All right, let's go up better. I want to go back up. Start to some more of them off there. The thing is, you don't want to take too much time doing this. So you're going to want to do it quickly. So that way you can get moving on to cleaning the windows again. Once you find yourself a rhythm, it becomes a lot easier. You can take it flow right through a whole bunch of stuff. from these windows back here already, everything already looks better. It looks smoother, not as many cobwebs on there. So that way when I get up there and I clean them real good and I get all the rest of the residual dust, cobwebs, and dirt off of there, it'll shine. They'll be able to see this beautiful view that's behind us.
this is something we would normally charge for if we've talked to the customer about it. But I take pride in my work. So most of the time I'll do it. I won't even tell them I've done it. It takes less than 10 minutes of my day to run through and just cobweb their house real quick and make everything look good. So I don't even charge them for it. I don't even let them know I've done it. Just when they go to look out their window and they don't see any cobwebs and they don't see any of the other residual uh, dirt and dust on their seals and everything, it just makes them happier and they'll always request you to come back out.